Hi everyone, it's Kay from Japan National Tourism Organization. Of the many experiences you could have in Japan, one that can sometimes be overlooked is finding a unique place to stay. As you would expect, there are fabulous hotels across the country, including the global brands that we know and love. But in this video series, I'd like to introduce some unique places you can stay in Japan to make your trip that much more memorable. One of the most unique places to stay in Japan is at a temple called Shukubo in Japanese. Many of the Buddhist temples in Japan offer visitors the ability to book an overnight stay to experience the daily life of the temple authentically. From vegetarian meals to observing Buddhist rituals to guided meditation exercises, a Shukubo experience is marked by peace and tranquility and is a truly unique experience. A good thing to note when planning your Shukubo is that many temples have shared bathroom facilities, so don't be surprised upon arrival if you don't have a private bathroom. This is something you can always confirm before booking your accommodations. Shukubo began centuries ago when travelers were taken in by temples for a night or two. Most of these lodgings are around popular pilgrimage areas like Kyoto, Mount Mitake in Tokyo, Zenkoji in Nagano, and Koyasan in Wakayama. It's an ideal way to gain a better understanding of life inside a temple, which has scarcely changed in a millennia. A night at a temple is similar to staying in a ryokan in that you will sleep on futon bedding atop tatami mat flooring. Some temples do have Wi-Fi connections if you require some access to the modern world while there, but I recommend unplugging as much as possible during your stay. When at Shukubo, a temple gong breaks the day's silence, summoning you to the Shojin Ryori evening meal. Served on low tables, you'll sit cross-legged on square zabuton cushions and enjoy Shojin Ryori, ancient Buddhist vegetarian cuisine. Shojin Ryori is made without using meat, seafood, or even certain vegetables such as onions. This concept was introduced to Japan via Buddhism in the 6th century and has been in practice ever since but is still a rarity outside of temples. Typically, a meal will consist of a dozen or more small, lacquered plates and bowls with small portions in each dish. Along with a steaming bowl of rice, there's usually some sort of broth with locally sourced seasonal vegetables and herbs, vegetable tempura, freshly made tofu, and pickled vegetables. Some temples serve beer and sake, while others only serve tea. During your stay, you may have a chance to participate in temple traditions and ceremonies like the art of copying a sutra or other special and private ceremonies which can only be witnessed as part of Shukubo. Temple stays can be arranged in a number of popular travel destinations across Japan, including the ancient capital of Kyoto, as well as some of Japan's more off-the-beaten-path prefectures such as Aomori, Tottori, and Nagano. Wherever the destination, staying at a temple is an otherworldly experience and will allow you to feel immersed in Japanese culture and history in a way that you really have to try for yourself to understand. I recommend it to everyone that travels to Japan. Choosing accommodations should always come back to the comforts and convenience of the traveler. But time and again, we hear from those who have visited Japan that punctuating their trip with a unique Japanese stay was one of the highlights so I always recommend considering a unique place to stay when you travel to Japan. That's all for us this time, but be sure to hit like and subscribe for more helpful Japan travel tips.